it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and I have my October layout share for my How to Kill a Kit with Style. I'm going to try and put it up like this. Look at that, guys. Like over 50 layouts. So definitely killed some Maggie Holmes stash. Some have videos. A lot of them do not um, because I was... Um, on fall break and I didn't do any filming and then I went to a treat retreat and only did one film and that was it so I'm trying to decide so there is a film for this one this is stretch the sketch there is no video for this one so this one is mostly um, garden party and I have officially killed Garden Party. I do not have any bit of Garden Party left. So that's super exciting. So there's that one. There is a process video for this one. This one was from 30 Days of Sketches. Oh, so I guess that doesn't really count. But that is using Garden Party. Um, there's this one. Also using Garden Party, I believe. Um... Got this cute little coffee clip on here, which was super exciting because um, I don't actually drink coffee. So to get those used up, I put two of them on here. Um, I think it comes in a pack of six. So um, two is good. Finished up some sequins. So that's always fun. This one is using Flourish. There's no process video for this one either. So I just took papers and did a line of torn papers in three here. And then I have my two photos. One is backed in tissue paper. The other one actually has a chipboard piece. A um, couple of tags. Um, a few more chipboard pieces. I think this happy... And these hearts are actually from the Coco Vanilla Summer Collection. So there's that one. And then there's this one, which I'm getting a crazy glare. We'll scoot it over. There we go. We'll just scoot over. Still glare. Okay. Um, so I really pulled the colors from this tag, this blue and this pink, and I wanted to continue the tags. But so instead of putting, um, I guess they're banners, sorry, instead of putting the banners straight up and down, I had them coming from the corner and then just a couple of chipboard pieces and a few die cut pieces. I think this is flourish as well. More flourish. So lots and lots of paper layers, a couple of houses to represent. We're talking about the building um, and this beautiful um, vellum title. This came together really easily. The background has a stencil from Scrapping Reflections and I think it has a couple of colors of Distress Oxide through that. So love how that one turned out. This one I did for a paper issues sketch. This is using carousel and all of these stickers are from the Maggie Holmes sticker book. And of course my butterflies get sequin trails. So I did my title of Queen of the Pier. So there's that one. More carousel. I'm pretty sure I killed carousel with the exception of a couple of six by eight pieces of paper. And I think I have like one little mm, tabby thing, like journaling block. So this one doesn't have a ton of paper, just the background floral, got a couple pieces here, 
did a cluster on this side as well as this side a couple of stickers some are from the sticker book so these these i think are flourish stickers and they're like tea things i'm like not gonna use them but their colors are great so there's that one this one again so we have a merry-go-round and a ferris wheel that we saw on our trip so i figured this collection was perfect so a couple layers again backing my photo in some tissue paper and i stuck it in this little pocket so it's like coming out of the pocket and i had to find it took me a little bit but this is a simple stories ice cream i had to find that okay this one again is carousel but fun fact these little guys right here and these little guys right here yeah they're diamond dots my friend sandy got them for me um at retreat because there's a big joke that i don't do the diamond thing and so she got me some and i totally used them and look they look pretty good on here don't they <laughs> More carousel pictures, had this fun cut apart, so that was good. There's this one, and this is a flip up. So it's got a hidden photo in there. No video for that one. This one, um, it looks like I'm transitioning into Chasing Dreams. Uh, so, we found this wall in Seattle and we were like, oh my gosh, that is like a Maggie Holmes paper, 100%. So I kind of did a monochromatic pink and black and white to go with that. We did have to climb all of these stairs in the middle of the night to get to that. So, um, so yeah, title is Stair Dreams, XOXO. Another Chasing Dreams. So this is when we were in the um, selfie museum I think is what it's called um, so a couple of paper layers really pulled out the whole fact that the background was pink of the photo the background paper uh, three embellishment clusters and a really big chipboard title then there is this one again at the selfie museum I pulled some floral paper because of the floral background this one was a, a quick and simple one. Um, so I just made my three uh, pictures fit my eight and a half by 11 um, straight up and down. Did some paper with one little cluster here, title on the side and a little cluster in kind of that dead space of the pictures. So those are all my eight and a half by 11 and my traveler's notebook ones. So we'll move on to the 12 by 12, which there are more um, process videos, so I won't talk about them quite as much. So there is a process video for this one. This is using a really old Maggie Holmes from 1913, 1913 oh my gosh, 2013, um, and some flourish embellishments. This one was a scrap lift so this is a may i scrap lift you of kiki scraps a lot lots and lots of open book items this is also a may i scrap lift you um and this was kim uh jenkins i think um so this is using the heritage collection so there's a video on that one there is no video for this one. Um, I have this heart-shaped cut file, and from Willow Lane, I only have the paper pad left, so I just backed it with pieces of the paper pad to try and use that up. Grabbed stickers and ephemera from some of the other collections to document this cute picture um, of my daughter in front of a super fun California wall. This one is a scrap lift and this is for Ronnie Sue Scrappers 2000 subbies. So there is a video for that one. 
This one is for Crafty IQ. There is a video for this one of me tearing it apart. <laughs> I did a, a two page spread. Let's see if I can get it in frame here. I really was gonna do a video for this. This was celebrating my 21st birthday and I was gonna put it up on my 40th birthday, but instead I just scrapped with my friend Sharon and got it done. So uh, four pictures, lots of um, embellishments from mm, confetti, and the papers, I believe, are from Flourish, because I don't have any papers for that collection. There is a process video for this one. This is my oodles of noodles, and this one um, was a... Sunday sketch. This one I did as a live for the October challenge in the Secret Not Secret Kit Club. Um, so no video for that unless you're part of the club. So love a good grid. I hadn't done a grid for a while. This one was for paper issues. This was, which challenge was this? Oh, Beetlejuice. This was the Beetlejuice challenge, so you had to get some black and white stripes. Um, it was like a bonus if you could get a ghost on there. These pictures um, are from Pier 39 with Alcatraz in the back. I figure there's a ghost out there. That's good enough. This one is a May I Scrap Lift You, but um, there's not a process video, but there is a video explaining kind of how I did it. This was scrap lifting my friend Lynn from Retreat. There's that one. This one is a Moody Monday with all of the paper layers. This is Chasing Dreams. Um, so there's a video for this one. This is also a Moody Monday. Um, so there is a video for this one, so I won't go into too much on that one, but I am super impressed that I got some triangles on there. This one is a sketch Sunday, um, using open book and I made these fun shaker pockets with, um, minty meadow sequins from Spiegel Mom Scraps. So there is a video for that one. I think I made a video for this one, but not, I don't think I actually, I don't, I don't think I ever voiced over this one. <laughs> so, um, my guess is this one isn't going to go live. So this is using more of that confetti collection. Um, and then I think the papers are from open book and the background has some shimmers in It's Meant to Be. And this was my ninth birthday. So maybe there is a video. I can't remember. This one cracks me up. The whole story cracks me up. I would have never guessed the seagull would come after an ice cream that is in my hand. It's crazy. Um, so there is a video for this one. And of course, got to get the birds on there. So speaking of birds and going with the bird theme, um, this is a May I Scrap Lift You as well. Um, and there's no birds in this picture, but because I had already had the title ready to go, um, the bird theme worked out really good. And then this is where the tragedy of my color shine spilled. So yeah, that one's a little sad. There is this one. I know there's a video for this one using um, all these frames from open book. Um, I just love how this one turned out. I love me some frames. So, so pretty. And then this one, this is a, this is a sketch Sunday. This is my dirt party. So this is using flourish. Got um, a few pieces of paper used up, um, like this background. I didn't think that I would ever use that, but it actually reads as a good neutral. So there's that. Um, lots of stickers, 
some vellum pieces. This one is a May I Scrap Lift You. So this is using the Heritage Collection. And my stack is getting kind of high. I'm going to empty some of it here. Okay. Um, using the Heritage Collection. And this is where I sopped up some of that ink um, that spilled. So I actually have three backgrounds made with uh, Heidi Swap Color Shine because of that. So there is a process video for this one. And then this one is using Sweet Story. I only have the sticker book and uh, the 6x8 pad. So lots of that on here with a pretty cut file. And there, this was everyday inspiration. So it went up late because for some reason it didn't get scheduled. I don't know why, um, but it is up. So that is a series I do with Christy, Daisy, Dolly, Jen, and Lisa. Okay, there is no process videos, I believe, for the rest of these. These were the ones I made on retreat. So this is using Garden Party. I was super excited to get this uh, cute little frog and this bee on here. And I decided bees are like butterflies and they need trails as well. Um, and I like how I did it on an angle with a banner, a couple of different layers, and then just my beautiful sequins from Spiegel Mom Scraps. So that is documenting when we went to go watch my son play in a golf tournament. Then there is this one. So this is also garden party. So huge banner. I did the pink, but then it was kind of getting lost on this beautiful floral. So I backed it in some white cardstock. And I have a Bramble Fox perspective that says go anywhere. And where we went was um, my friend's cabin. Well, we went to her ranch and this is one of the cabins. And everybody that gets to come gets to sign this door. So here's all of our signatures and the date we were there. So that that's super fun and so very special. And then... We needed a fun group picture. So this layout is basically every leftover piece of paper I had from Garden Party. And most of it was the branding strips. So I took a black piece of cardstock, layered up the branding strips, took all the papers, scraps that I had left, backed my photo here. And then I had this pretty um, camera die cut and uh, backed that in black so it would pop up. This is a Dottie About Flare Flare that I got from um, Scrappy Kathy at the retreat. Uh, Bramble Fox perspective here and here for my title. I got uh, two of those cute little foxes on there because you know, it's got some foxy ladies in this, in this layout. So super fun because I know this was where I killed the rest of that collection, which is awesome. I have this sweet layout. Um, so my niece turned 30 and we were down at her birthday party, but we all got gifts and um, this was mine. Um, it's a cute little pink onesie. It says, someone call my aunt mommy's about to lose her mind. So she let us know that she was having a baby and a baby girl. So definitely went the pink theme. Got this beautiful Bramble Fox perspective in pink that says awesome. And this little kind of purpley tag and some uh, florals. I think those were from the Take It Table at Retreat. Um, this is more believe carousel. So um, these cute little tags were actually on the take it table and I just backed them with uh, one of the cut apart sheets. I have my two photos of me hanging out at the fair. Um, I took my daughter and her friend um, but they don't want mommy to hang out so mommy sat for eight to nine hours right here in 
the stands. They did have a few things going on um, and they had to check in every hour. So while they were doing that, I ate EGs and a pickle that was absolutely disgusting. <laughs> so there's that one, which is super sad because that's one of my favorite parts of the fair. So this one is a little wild, um, but the, the photo is a little wild too. Um, so several pieces of torn paper on this side. I definitely like to do that. This ticket paper, um, a little frame, a couple of tags and embellishments. This was just the girls walking away to go um, ride rides by themselves. They don't need me. Backed it with um, some tissue paper. I'm a huge fan of tissue paper to back my photos. I hope everybody's enjoying whatever drink they decided to uh, have. I promise we're almost done. Okay, so this one, this looks like Gather, actually. Not really sure. So, um, so I have this circle cut and then, um, in the background you can see some mild stenciling and that stenciling is through a scrapping reflection stencil that we got at retreat. So I put that down. Um, these are all fussy cut flowers from a piece of paper. Um, and this is the kids doing an old fashioned race game. Um, so that is that. And then this one is, this is more carousel. So I actually took this piece of paper and fussy cut it all out, all of these little banners. And then I popped them up on adhesive, some fun foam and stuck them all back down um, and then backed my photos in a couple of pieces from the carousel collection. Um, I got these fun banners um, from my friend Sandy and so got those on there. Cork piece from Sandy. These embellishments I believe are actually Jen Hatfield though. Um, so this was um, the guide to romance and you could squeeze it and it would tell you what you were. So my husband squeezed it and he was sexy and then I squeezed it and I was blah. <laughs> so, so we got pictures and I thought the hashtag it's all good, um, title was fun. Okay. More fair pictures. So, um, since I don't get to hang out with my children at the fair, um, I rely on them to send me pictures. So thank goodness my son is dating a very sweet girl and I text her, I said, send me pictures. So I got this cute one of them. Um, and they're, I think in like the Ferris wheel bucket one. Um, I finally used these pom poms on something cute little bramble fox, uh, perspective there. These are not Maggie Holmes. I'm not sure where those are from, but um, a couple of florals. Got the kite paper, so I figured, you know, high above, they're up in the sky, that type of thing. So I thought it was fitting to use the kites. Um, this is from, oh gosh, I want to say it's a Pink Fresh Studio line. It's the one with all the lemons sweet something simple and sweet so there's that and I used up all these stars so that was fun so again I have to rely on my children so she took this picture I have no idea what right they're on but it's up and it's super fun because you can see the whole fair there as well as um the background mountains. So I used a couple of shimmers. Um, not sure which ones, if you need to know, just let me know. This beautiful perspective that says sunshine and blue skies, layered lots of papers, and these are all carousel. And this is that simple and sweet um, collection as well. So there's that one. Oh, two more, two more. Okay, so this one, this was before 
um, they made me leave. And I said, I will let you guys go on your own, but you will be getting on the carousel and you will let me take your picture. <laughs> so, um, that is what this picture is. And I used the carousel collection. And this is a beautiful Bramble Fox perspective that says XOXO. Um, and so I have the arrow piece of paper. So I actually cut it all up. So it was all one piece and I cut it and then restacked it on each other to make that. Um, and then just a little cluster down here. That's a little sticky. So there's that one. And last one, thank you all for sticking with me. Um, beautiful. I love this paper. Love, love, love this paper. Um, and then I just did a banner, uh, a fun a photo of the girls on the yo-yo, backed it with several pieces of paper, popped it up on some fun foam, used one of the die cuts as my title, um, fussy cut a few things out. And that is it. So there is my 50-ish layouts all using my Maggie Holmes collections. I will tell you that um, my basket, I don't know if it's going to fit under here. Yeah. Um, so my basket is definitely smaller. I mean, I still have, you know, a few things like a little bit of the heritage, um, this is almost gone, this confetti. Have a little bit of marigold. I This is wrapping paper from Willow Lane, so it just has a few frames. Um, as far as open book, I did really good. I used up a whole chipboard sheet, so I have one. The paper pad is well over half gone. Um, so I used a ton of that one. Like I said, carousel is gone. Um, garden party is gone. Um, for sunny days, I have about five, six pieces of paper and then a partial sticker sheet and a sticker book. Um, which one is this? Chasing dreams. I think I used up one chipboard and that chipboard is almost gone. Sticker sheet's almost gone. There's maybe a third of the paper left. Um, flourish is still excessive, but I did use up one of the chipboard sheets. I used up this two sticker sheets. Um, I had a paper pad and a project pad, um, but I did use quite a bit of that. And then I used this one for a couple of layouts. Um, but yeah, so look, there's lots of room for the new collection, but my friend Sharon has challenged me that I have to use 50 pieces of Maggie Holmes paper before I can buy the new collection. Um, I have made two, two of those layouts I have made since she sent me that. So one had seven on it, one had five. So I am slowly making my way. So thank you, thank you so much for sticking with me. I know it was a long one, but I made so many layouts and I wanted to share them with you, especially because over half of them don't have process videos. So that's going to do it. Stay tuned for um, tomorrow uh, for the November How to Kill a Kit with Style. Remember to wear your crown. Bye.